So this painting will be made up of seven different instances of the same person. And um, each individual instance uses a different artist as a, as a map, as a guide um, for how that instance of the person will be depicted. And this first instance is based on the work of Daniel Sprick. Um, if you ever wanted to make a drawing or a painting that looked real, if you wanted to make a portrait that looked like the actual person was sitting there, you'd probably dig Daniel Sprick's work. Yeah, I certainly do. He's got this great mix of, this is a painting. It's got big fat brush strokes. It's got paint, but also this is crazy real. It has eyelashes and very nuanced flesh. Um, it's a mix I'm, I really resonate with personally. Um, his work's really about uh, craftsmanship. His his stylizations are a distant second um, to that search for fidelity. Um, uh, probably when this instance is done, uh, nobody's going to look at my painting and say, oh, that one's based on Daniel Sprick. Um, but he is my touchstone here. Uh, and um, he's who I'm looking at as I sort out brush strokes and palettes and all that sort of thing. How'd this session go? Um, so I'm reasonably pleased with how this is coming along. Uh, the expression's getting harder for me to nail than I thought, with that uplight and the, um, the head back. I've let the colors go to pink. I was trying to not do my palette, and I was trying to adopt some of Daniel Sprick's palette, and instead I ended up with neither of our palettes, and this thing just got a little too pink. But that'll be taken care of in the next pass. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot, there's a lot I like about this. As I lean in, I was feeling, I was feeling overly concerned, and now I'm feeling happy about it. Thank you. 